Okay, giveaway time. And uh, this time, everyone gets to be included, including Quebec. Yay! Okay, we're gonna do something a little different this time. Um, we got pistons here out of a two-stroke 16-cylinder Detroit. Uh, I hope most of you guys watched that video already. Um, it did surprisingly better than we thought, and a little bit of mixed reactions about it too, which uh, we should have done a better job explaining about it. But um, the engine needed a rebuild, and it's expensive to rebuild. We tried. We reached out to a couple companies. They didn't want it. Uh, we were not going to sink twenty thousand dollars into fixing it. So uh, we gave it a final Viking send off and then tore it down just so we could show you guys the insides of such a cool engine. I did my best to explain everything that I could about the engine. There was a couple things I got wrong, so maybe comment down below on what I got wrong. I'll tell you. I, I'm gonna clarify right now that I've never gone that deep into one of those before. The two things I got wrong is that the engines are not ambidextrous. You can't switch the cranks around. The flanges are different, so they do have to be butt up back to back. I believe the blocks are, but the cranks are not. So I can't just stick 12 of those engines together. Um, also, when they run backwards, they do um, puke oil out the uh, blowers, and it gets kind of scary. It's not good for them, so when they run backwards, they are timed different in the timing cover. Other than that, the principles of how they work, how the air comes in, goes out, the blowers, the governor, the rack, all of that was accurate. Um, I just got those two things wrong. And if I forgot something else, comment down below. This is the giveaway, the broken uh, connecting rod and the top half of the piston. I will sign both um, to whoever wins it. I'll put your name on it and uh, you can have this little bit of memorabilia. Uh, I really like this because it looks like a piece of art. Um, pretty cool, the webbing on the inside of the piston. Um, that would be where the wrist pin would go. And you still see the top half to know that it is a piston. So it originally looked like this, but you wouldn't think that. Uh, in the video we said that there was some parts for sale and actually it's been very overwhelming. There's been so many people that just want valve covers and blowers and the pistons. So we've got some pistons for sale. So um, we didn't really know how to go about it. Uh, couldn't respond to everybody. Uh, responded to a few people but we figured the best way to do it was to go on eBay. So there's a link there. Um, 20 bucks buys you a piston and the biggest thing was the shipping so eBay is able to calculate the shipping for you. It's not light. It weighs almost 20 pounds. So the pistons are on eBay but I just want to clarify that they are not good anymore. Um, they are just for wall art or for ashtrays or for a meat mallet or, or whatever. But don't put them back in another Detroit. There's brand new blowers for 871 on eBay for about 500 bucks which is a pretty good deal. I wouldn't hesitate to go buy those. Um, brand new cylinder heads reconditioned on eBay for about a thousand bucks and there's some complete running generators 16 B71s uh, I think there's one for seven grand one for 8500 they've been up for about seven eight months so um, if you're looking to buy one of these you can probably get them down to four or five grand no problem running uh, good shape plus the generator on it that works um, head over to eBay the blowers are gone um, the valve covers are gone. They were actually uh, by people that we've done business with before. They called us up and said, can we have those? So unfortunately they get priority for those um, and I don't have to deal with the shipping for that. If you do want the block on the crank for an eight cylinder, we still have it, but before long it'll be at VNR's yard again. And then if you want it, you're gonna have to figure it out with them. So um, thanks for watching. Check out the Screaming uh, Jimmy video that we released on New Year's. But more importantly, check out the teardown video where we go into it. All the links to, as to how to enter are down below. Check out eBay for these if you want these right away. If you buy it and you want me to sign it, I absolutely will. Uh, let me know where and we can definitely take care of that for you. So, um, yeah, here we go.